scroll down, transform, and the position is should be set to there. And what we want to try and do is figure out where the next keyframe was, which is just here, as we can see. And then we want to position right up. And hopefully what we can also do is uh, fade out the opacity as well. Right, so opacity 100. And by the time it gets pushed out, it's going to be set to 0. Right, so now what we effectively have is the clouds being pushed out complete with the shadows as well. Okay, that's that's the pretty much um, complicated part out of this whole thing is actually um, setting up the clouds to do that. Okay, so now now what we have is our um, a basic setup of the um, the explosion. Obviously, we've got the clouds sitting there, um, the shadows. We've got the uh, the flash. Um, obviously, the explosion that follows. As I scroll through it, we can see the shock wave pushes out. But what I want to try and do is um, align the shock wave to move with the clouds. Okay, so we bring this in a bit further. So, but basically, the shock wave pushes out the same time as the clouds do. So you can see, basically, when when that happens, uh, it's the shock wave that's actually pushing the clouds out of the composition. Okay. You might, your timing might be off slightly, but um, obviously if you um, get it right, it does look quite good. Okay, but what I'm trying to do is bring up the, um, the opacity a little bit more because now we've got a bit more of a clogged, clogged scene. You're not really going to notice the. Uh, there we go. That looks a little, lot, lot better now. Okay, that's much better. So now, obviously, we have our um, explosion with our shock wave. Right, if I just close all these down. One more thing that we could try uh, to make this look even better is um, create kind of um, a ground blast um, explosion thing coming out of uh, the initial explosion. Okay, so um, if I just go to layer new solid, okay, um, doesn't matter what, what colour you have it at, and I'm going to put this below the uh, the explosion here, okay. Um, and what I'm going to try and do is uh, Alt and left bracket to start it there and we're going to go to Effect, um, Noise and Grain and Fractal Noise okay and then what I'm going to try and do is uh, change it uh, to uh, Dynamic okay right uh, just scale this down and then what we want to try and do is just try and get into the center of it there as you can see now we've got our um, our fractal noise right in the center of the screen uh, go to uh, effects uh, color correction and curves okay now what we're going to try and do is uh, color correct it to make it look like uh, an explosion so I'm going to bring the red right up and the blue right down okay so we get like a big orangey kind of uh, explosion you might need to tinker around with these until you get it right. Okay, Let's see if I can do anything with the green. There we go. That makes it look quite like uh, an explosion. Right, that's that's looking good. Now we've got our uh, explosion. Um, what we're going to try and do now is uh, do another expansion using the um, the elliptical mask here. So um, let's try and do that again. So bring the elliptical mask out. So it's right in the center there and uh, let's go into the mask options and the mask expansion uh, set a keyframe go to the end of the comp and expand this right out like so uh, feather it out slightly okay um, actually what I might need to do is scale this up a bit more that's better um, and bring the mask expansion down. That's it. That's looking good. Okay. Um, and also one other thing we want to do with this is um, with the fractal noise, uh, we want to change the evolution of the actual noise to make it look like it's uh, changing. So set the stopwatch on here, and it should be at zero. Go towards the end, and then what we want to do is move this around a couple of times. 
So I'm going to move it around like like so. And what we get is like a like a bubbling um, effect that you get with an explosion where the fireball rolls as it's um, expanding. Okay. Right. Um, I think the colour on that is a little bit too intense. So I'm going to change the uh, the curves of that. Okay. Give it a bit more of an orangey look. It's looking a little bit better. That's much better. Okay, and uh, now we're going to give it a uh, a glow effect, stylize and glow. And as you can see, that's way too much. So we're going to try and bring the intensity to, I'd say, around about 80. The glow radius. Uh, about 130 and this we're going to bring to about 1.3 let's try that again make sure it looks good yes it's looking much better let's have a look see what we've um, we've got here okay um, I still think that the explosion um, the initial explosion here probably needs to um, be extended a bit more so um, time uh, time stretch and to about 650 because by the end of the comp it kind of uh, fades out too much and we, we don't want to lose the um, we don't want to lose the, uh, the the power of the explosion okay so might need to mess around with the glow settings a bit more to get more of a an enhanced explosion look okay that's looking quite good let's just turn on the other layers and we're going to set this to f full um, what I might also do is also bring up the uh, the size of the explosion a bit more as well okay and uh, let's see if I can change this a bit as well go to effect uh, channel remove color matting and there you go you don't have those dark edges around the outside of the explosion Okay, um, and um, I, th I think what I'm going to do is go back to the um, the outer explosion and uh, change the um, the explosion to try and match the uh, the intensity of the in the centre explosion. Okay, it's two separate colours. So if I try and change the intensity slightly um, and make it look like it's the same colour as the central explosion, it it, it won't look too um, too different. I might also need to change the glow settings as well. Okay. That's looking a lot um, a, much more better than it was before. Um oh. Okay, let's see what that looks like once I pan out a bit further. Mm, nah, it's not doing too good like that. Um, I think that's that's mainly the glow cause in that one. That's a lot better. There we go. Yeah, a little bit of uh, tinkering around, and you'll get your your colour looking a lot better, and it matches the um, the centre explosion as well. And obviously now what you've got is the uh, the massive. Um, a fireball that blasts out from the initial um, nuclear explosion there and uh, basically that is the tutorial okay uh, like I say it's quite a, a bit of a long-winded one and uh, there's a lot of tinkering around to do but you do get the general idea of what you're trying to accomplish okay um, but don't forget that obviously with your front explosion you need to turn on frame uh, blending just so that it makes it a lot better and a lot more smoother um, you will notice that your uh, rendering will slow down quite a bit more uh, because of this. As you can see at the moment this is only a 2D um, explosion but once you get the, uh, the basic uh, idea of how this works you can try and do it with um, a 3D angle so you can get to see it coming out from the sides and stuff like that and the actual explosion coming out from the surface of the ground. But obviously that's basically this tutorial. Um, if you want all the um, the footage parts like the explosion and the uh, the layers and stuff like that, then you need to go to videoeffectsuniverse.com and download this tutorial, which will be in a zip format with um, all the other files that come with it.
Okay, well, thank you very much for watching. My name's Dave, and I will speak to you soon.